Are you making some of the most common fiddle leaf fig mistakes that are killing your plant? Watch this video to find out. Hi, I'm Claire Aiken, the Fiddle Leaf Fig Girl, and today I want to talk about the most common fiddle leaf fig mistakes that I see. All right, so I'm gonna go through this list kind of not in any particular order. I think it's just kind of what came to mind to me as the most common mistakes that I see. I have people emailing me every single day asking what's wrong with their plant. You can send me an email anytime, claire at fiddleleaffigplant.com and I will answer your question the best I can. So the first thing that I see is not enough light. These plants need light, they love sunlight, and they want to have as much light as possible. And so if you put your plant in a dark corner, um, it's not gonna do well. And so I recommend putting it in the sunniest spot in your house, at least when you first bring it home, and then you can always acclimate it slowly over a few months into a darker corner. But when they come from a greenhouse where they have about 50% sunlight, you really need to maintain as much light as possible. The average home probably only has about 25% of full sunlight. So the sunniest corner of your house, the brightest windows, um, you know, southern facing large windows if you possibly can. The second problem that I see or mistake that I see people making is using soil that stays way, way, way too wet. So of course these plants love to have pretty dry soil, they like good drainage, and if you buy just an average potting soil, it just stays sopping, soggy, wet. And so I really recommend in either getting a fiddle leaf fig soil, like the one that we make, make sure if you buy a fiddle leaf fig soil that you're not getting one that already has fertilizer in it because that can actually burn your plant. So the one that we have is the perfect soil for a fiddle leaf fig and there's no added fertilizers. So if you do have a soil like a miracle Grow or an indoor soil mix, what you can do is just mix it with something lighter like cactus soil or like orchid bark, just to lighten it up so that it doesn't sit in the water and cause root rot, which is brown spots and dropping leaves on your poor plant. The third mistake I see all the time is people moving their plants around. So they really like to stay in the same place. Obviously as trees in the wild, they stay in the same place for their entire lives, right? And so we don't wanna be moving them around. They don't like change. They just wanna stay put. You can acclimate them slowly over the course of months, like I discussed, but I really recommend staying in one spot if you can. I see people all the time that move their plant, even just to water it. So people will take their plants outside and leave them in the sun and what happens is they get sunburnt. And so just keep your plant in the same spot as much as you can. Rotate it to get even growth, 360 degrees, but don't move it around a lot. Okay, the fourth problem that I see comes with older plants or plants that have been doing well, where you keep watering, you keep watering, your plant keeps growing, and the soil starts getting very compacted and very hard. That doesn't give your plant's roots a lot of air to kind of move around and breathe. So what I recommend doing is checking how compacted your soil is. If it's very compacted and your plant is root bound, which means it's basically your roots have crowded out your soil and it's just a big root ball, then you're going to want to repot into a larger container with a fluffy fiddle leaf fig soil. But if it's if it looks okay and the soil is just a bit compacted, what you can do is you can aerate the soil. So you can take chopsticks or kind of a long skewer and actually poke down around and loosen up the soil. This allows your soil to dry out faster. It allows more airflow into the root system and it can just really help improve the uh, experience of your plant and the health of your plant. So try that out if you haven't done that recently, aerating the soil. And I have a full video and article on how to do that. Okay, the fifth thing that I see all the time is sunburn. These plants cannot stay in full sun. They're just like people, you know, there are people who get a lot of sun every day and can go out without getting sunburnt, but that takes time to build up. So if you take your plant from indoors and you put it out in full sun, it will burn. And I burnt several of my plants over the summer when we were having our house painted and the painters moved the plants into the yard completely uncovered at, you know, noon and they all got sunburnt and it was a total tragedy. <laughs> and so it's really important not to leave them out in full sun. They can acclimate to full sun eventually but if your plant is going outdoors make sure it's in the shade under a pergola or some kind of shaded structure I see people all the time who move their plants outside to water them forget about them and they get totally burnt and the sad part is that those leaves will never recover they are burnt and they're never gonna come back to their full green and gorgeous look and so the sixth thing that I see all the time is drafts and so People, you know, they put their fiddle leaf figs near maybe a door that opens to the outside, and if you live somewhere very cold, that blasts your plant with cold air. Or if you have it next to a heating vent or a cooling vent, they don't like wind and draft and dry air. They like it kind of stagnant and humid and hot. And so we want to try to recreate that as much as possible. And so having drafts or heating vents or air conditioning vents can really kind of mess with your fiddle leaf fig. The last thing, step seven, the mistake that I see people make is 
not fertilizing your plant. And so it's really important these plants grow really prolifically and they like a lot of nutrients. So it is important to fertilize them with a well-balanced fertilizer that was designed for a fiddle leaf fig. Like I mentioned, you don't want to double fertilize. So I do really recommend against adding sort of fertilizer granules, liquid fertilizer, or using fertilized soil because that can double up and you don't know how much your plant is getting. So I recommend using a virgin soil that is not fertilized and then fertilizing intentionally each week. We make a fiddle leaf fig plant food where you can dilute it and use it every single time you water so that your plant's getting a steady dose of the nutrients it needs and not a big hit that could burn it and then starving it for several months. And so I recommend a slow and steady fertilizer that you can really dilute and measure how much you're giving your plant. I hope this video is helpful. If you're making any of these mistakes, give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel and ask your question in the comments. Thanks for watching.